there's just nothing like the thrill of taking a product or service that you that you come up with, create on your own, and then getting it out to market, watching it sell and get used and make a difference in the people's lives the, the, of those people who are using it. There is a financial realm of challenges, there's a social realm of challenges, and then there's a mental and emotional realm of challenges. And so I'll, I'll just kind of touch on some of those. So, so financially, um, it is, you will make more money per hour flipping burgers, no doubt about it. I mean, there's just a period of time where there are so many things that you have to do that you don't get paid for that the work that you do that you actually get paid for is, is just a small part of the time that you're spending in your business. There are um, websites to create and business cards to do and, and strategy to come up with and, and all kinds of communication and marketing. There's just so many things that you have to do. You have to go into it with a, with a bootstrap, shoestring budget mentality where your personal, your personal take home pay, you are counting on it being next to nothing. Even nothing, if at, all, if at all possible, to live on savings for a period of time so you can literally make nothing from the business. So how does that sound? Go spend all this time, all this energy, and make nothing. <laughs> Don't we love entrepreneurship? It's so great. I paid my mortgage on the 30th day that it was late um, for like eight months in a row. I mean, it was, and it was just an absolute, um, <laughs> you know, it was just a, a struggle and a mad dash and just a, a crazy wild goose chase every month to try to scrape up the money to be able to pay my mortgage. And there are taxing, taxing uh, times when you're in that early stage and, and relationships suffer. Um, you know, sometimes families don't make it through that. Uh, sometimes you're, there's, you know, there's divorce and separation and lots of hard and hurt feelings because the business requires everything you've got. It requires everything, and that is a hard thing for people to realize before they actually do it. If you allow the business to completely dominate, your family will struggle. And then that, that kind of takes me into the second realm, which is the social realm. Um, you're not going to see your friends for a while. You're not going to go do fun stuff. You're not going to go out and hang out. You're just not going to do those things. And you know, I remember times where I'd see friends I hadn't seen them for a long time, and they'd kind of be like, "Man, you used to be a lot more fun. <laughs> we used to do a lot of fun stuff together." And you kind of have to sacrifice some of the less important relationships for a period of time. Your mind plays such games on you, and there's so many um, ups and downs, and you know, such a roller coaster that it's just really easy to to get down and to be in a, in kind of a negative funk. And you know when you're not making money and you're not accomplishing goals and it's taking way longer than you thought and and a customer's complaining about this and your spouse is saying we don't have money for that and you know there's just so many things that mount that it just becomes um, it just becomes just a, a a brutally challenging mental game to get through and that is the thing that. I think is what, what breaks down most entrepreneurs and prevents them from achieving the success that they, that they originally sought in, you know, in the first place. Everybody has skeletons, has issues they deal with. I guarantee you they're going to come out when you're trying to run a business. And so if you don't want to face some of those things, then you're going to have a hard time running a business because you've got to face some of that stuff. If you're going to win, if you're going to overcome, overcome these things, you know, that's, that's why I talk sometimes about the triumph of the human spirit because you're beating, you're, you're beating down things that, are, that, that would hold back most people or specific, specific challenges that you've had in your life that, that, you know, that are trying to hold you back. You've got to, you've got to overcome, overcome those things. There are no doubt there were, there were times where I was delusional about what we were doing. Um, I think I think the thing for entrepreneurs is to um, err on the side of of passion. So if you're that, accept that there might be times that you're going to be a bit delusional about it, and just be conscious of that, and recognize that you know other people are going to have some perspectives. Our outcomes are are determined by our thoughts. That our thoughts lead to our words. Our words lead to our beliefs, our beliefs lead to our actions, our actions lead to our habits, and our habits lead to our outcomes. And so thoughts, words, beliefs, actions, habits, outcomes. Um, the outcomes that we want can literally be created by the thoughts that we choose to feed our system. 
I think that entrepreneurs will serve themselves very, very well to get very clear on their purpose, their values, and their mission. Get clear on that, their core. And then the advice becomes a lot easier to filter and distill.